Hey guys, today we're going to be unboxing the Crystal Flyers. This is from Hatchimals. This is a, well it's not that new, but it is a series of flying fairies that you can use your hand to control. We, this is the Rainbow Glitter Eye Idol. And I'm really excited to unbox it. You can see through the crystal design, the fairy. It looks very cool. Now, let's get to unboxing this. Wow. This comes with a very thick instruction manual. Let's see here. I think you gotta twist it open there we go wow check out the designs on this down to the dress and wings this reminds me of those toys that had that little that were like little helicopter toys that you were remote control with me and my brothers used to love playing with those wait there we go. We're going to need our trusty safety scissors to cut this little strand. I think I'm going to change point of views. There we go. Now, let's see here. Oh, this is some tough, tough, tough stuff. What is There we go. Oh, wow. It's a nice little Hatchimal design. Now, I think there's some... I think we need to keep this. This don't look like something I throw away. And it looks like there's something underneath, but it don't come off. Hmm. Maybe there's something under here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I guess this is the charging cord. Hmm. I guess we don't need this or anything. Just a stand. Some instructions. Okay. Hmm, what are these annoying little straps? I wish I had my other safety scissors. They were a bit more sharp. Let's see here. There we go. Oh, the hands too. Hmm. Oh, I see. These are the same things that go on price that clip on to price tags for your clothes. No wonder why they're so annoying. There, finally, you can check out our beautiful flyer. It rotates from here. Wow. This is a very cool design. I love Hatchimals. I, hmm. Yeah, I think this is just a stand in case you want to like stand it up here. Or does it charge on here? I'm not sure. Let's check out one of these many, many, many instructions. So there are two instructions. Uh, I think the other ones are for different language. Oh. Okay, so these are just different language. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the video and we'll get right back once we get this up and running. Well I got this charging. As you can see the light for it is red. So I guess it needs to charge for a little while. Hmm. Well, this is brand new. So, I think that it should still work. Though, hmm. maybe we'll find out. Let's get back to this one. This thing is charged. Okay. Fully charged and ready to go. Still has a cord on it. Let's just. Okay. Now, I believe in order to get this going, we need, oh, 
we need to put this on its launch pad here. Then we go and where is it? Huh. There's a bit of a design flaw. If this is a launch pad. Let's see. Oh wow. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, that was a rough start. Ooh, looks like it needs to charge. That really took off. I was not expecting that. Well, one of the wings did come off. Let's see. No, nothing broken. Just need to attach it back on. Somehow. Hmm. We'll be right back. Okay, now that we have that back on, we're going to try this again, but this time we're going to be prepared. Oh, God. Okay. This is wobbly. I can't, I can't control it. Oh, okay. Well, let go. Come here. Come here. Uh, well, it's stuck on my ceiling. Uh, what now? Uh, <laughs> maybe I could. Come here, fairy. Come here, I summon Die Fairy to come down. Oh boy. I'm gonna go get a stool. Great, so now you guys can watch me struggle. Mm. Ma'am. Ma'am, this is very unreasonable. Oh, now you come down. Now you come down. Oh, yay! No, 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 no. So, I learned that these apparently make your fairy crash. Hmm, maybe I should cover that up with a sheet. You're fine. We're just gonna, whenever your fairy starts blinking after a fatal crash, just starting up. And now, okay, so listen, don't crash, okay? Wow, these are very cool. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. No. No, stop, stop, stop. Ah! Don't put your fairy around balloons. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of hazards in my room. Maybe we can switch to recording somewhere else. Nope. Oh, Diane pauses. Oops. Okay, I got a new area, bad lighting, probably some mosquitoes, but hey, gotta record or you gotta record. Now, we're gonna try using this fairy's launch pad, though we're just gonna hope that this thing don't malfunction and try to slice us, because I was not expecting that. I thought the fairy need to be charged. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna put this down on the ground. Woo! There she goes. No, no. Stop, stop. Come here, come here, come here. Maybe I need a bit more space. Actually, no, this is as spacious as it could get. There are barely anything here for you to crash into, man. We're gonna try this the normal way. is truly a mystery. Hmm. I don't get how this thing works. We're gonna try this one more time. Now we're gonna back up the camera. Sheesh. And we're just gonna leave it like that. So now there is a 
whole pan of the room. We're gonna go here and let's try this. Okay. Maybe we are better off in my room. Actually, let's try doing this close to the ceiling. Oh wait, but then how will I get it down? <clears throat> nope. That goes up in the ceiling, that's it. You are going to fly properly. I think it has something to do with the batteries not being charged. We're going back into my room. Well, <sighs> you're going back to stage one, girl. Well, honestly, if I had to rate this toy, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. The designs are amazing. It's beautiful looking. But when it comes to flying, you kind of need an aerial with like absolutely nothing. Like a wide open space. But apparently this is an indoor toy, but I see why. If you have your hand above and you hover up too high, next thing you know, your fairy is floating up, 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 bye-bye. Or it could fly over someone's fence or anything, and that's it. So I kind of understand why this isn't an outdoor toy, though I think they need to work on the manufacturing of this to make it better at flying and directing because when you try to use your hand as you could as you guys saw it just like levitates up into the air and you can't really control where it goes so yeah this product is a six out of ten so it really is a nice fairy design well that's it for today bye guys